there. I'm Weta. Welcome to my closet. It's 2016. It's supposed to be spring because it is April. But gosh, it's going to get into the freezing temperatures tonight. I think we had a freeze warning in certain counties in my state. So I'm thinking... Okay, I'm all about transition, so this is a big challenge. How do I transition into spring when winter is still knocking at my back door? Okay, so I'm here with you today. It's been a long time. I have not done a video in quite some time, and I've run into a couple of you out, and you're like, what's going on? Have you been sick? Well, I don't know. I kind of got the blues, I guess, from winter. And I just, there were a couple of outfits I didn't didn't feature. And I regret that I didn't. But, hey, there's always next year, right? So, um, I'm here today in my closet. And you know me. I start fiddling with the lighting because I kind of feel like I have this halo here. And, oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's, let's see. All right. I have already transitioned my closet. I pulled two muscles in my glute, my two glutes, heading up the stairs to take the winter, heavy winter clothes into my winter storage closet upstairs. I know. And I'm thinking, are you kidding? I take Roseanne's class twice a week. Um, oh, well. It is what it is. So, I'm transitioned physically into my closet. Mentally and emotionally, I'm kind of really engaged with all the spring, summer uh, styles and fashions. Orange is the new black. I know some of you are looking at this and thinking, is that orange or is that red? I'm going to say that it's an orange. It's a coral. It's really a coral color. This is a Ralph Lauren. They currently have it at Belk in the Misses. This is, um, this is from TJ Maxx. I know, Maxinista. And, um, I think it was probably like $39.99, because you know Ralph Lauren runs, is a little pricier. It is a knit. It's a knit. And you can see when I get closer, it really, it really does, um, ch show more of a, um, of a coral color, okay? And... Okay, here we go. I'm loving pulling out some of this stuff. I'm going to give you some options today on what you can put with this wonderful color. Um, it's a knit. It drops down a little more in the back. I don't think it's that flattering on me because it has a yoke here. A yoke is like a seam that connects the top to the bottom. And I feel like it accentuates my worst asset. Uh, it's not an asset. My um, liability, I should say. Um, but I love the color, and I was drawn to the color more than anything. Now, I'm wearing my, you know what these are, hue. I hate the term jeggings, but they're hue leggings. Um, they just go with everything, and they're a great transition piece. This is a great transition piece. You know, if you were a skinny little girl and you had skinny legs, and I'll sing the song, Don't Want No One With No Skinny Legs. Those of you who are my age will remember that song. Um, you could really do some cute tights with this. And you can pick the piece up right now at Belk. Um, I think it's in this color. It may be in another color. Uh, but wait till they have a sale and you can get a great price on it. But it's a great transition piece, especially if you wanted to do leggings. I have, as I featured just a minute ago, I have paired with this, accessory-wise, some jewelry that I purchased quite some time ago. Um, the necklace, the necklace is a wonderful piece that has coral and turquoise. Let's see if you can see it. Hopefully my... My, it'll focus. It looks really kind of a yellowy orange here, um, but it really does. It really does match pretty well. And then I've got these T. Julian 
little earrings that she made. Sterling silver. Now, I love this. And you can see my cat scratch here. I have terrible hands. They're not pretty. Um, but I love this little bracelet. I bought this in Mexico with Mother. And these are coral. And my ring is coral. Um, it's all 925 sterling. And this is a funky little bracelet. I had to polish it today. You see it's got a little... It's Buffalo Nickels. And I don't remember where I got this. Probably something like Garnet Hill or something years ago. Um, with this, uh, accessory-wise... Can you see my shoes? I'll put I'll put the camera down. You know me and my sneakers. These are Stuart Weitzman sneakers. Um, Terry at Embellish had these sneakers in the black, and I coveted hers. I kept looking at them, but I really didn't need any more black. So I found these python like or snakeskin online, and like I said, I'll put the camera down and, and show them to you a little bit closer. I can tell you the name of these because I've got the box. Terry would be able to tell us right off the bat. They are the Rumpus by Stuart Weitzman. Rock Diamondback is what these are. I just wanted a little bit of a contrast. I wanted something funky. They've got great zippers. On the, they're very comfortable. The leather all inside. And I love the black soles. Um, handbag. You've seen this handbag before. I carried it some last year. Again, you know, this the handles to me suggest spring and summer because of the cane. But I think this is a great transition bag. This is kind of a, a cream-colored leather. And it is a wonderful handbag. These handles are not real comfortable. I'm just going to be honest, but the key to that is not loading it up too much, okay? And the beautiful thing about this is that it's got a nice little zipper pouch. This is a an Alberta de Canillo, and I think I tried to pronounce it and probably butchered it up. And this handbag has the coral orange lining. It doesn't matchy-matchy with this, but... I love the cream with these shoes because these shoes, kind of the background color is kind of a cream color. Now, what else could I do with this? How could I dress this up, Wita? Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. So you've got this top. This is very casual. Um, you could do some great looking. Um, you could, I mean, if you wanted to just be wild with color, you could do some, if I can find them in here. Don't judge, don't judge. I know some of y'all are like, God, have you got that many clothes? Oh, yes, I'm terrible. Y'all know that's my cocaine. Okay, so, I mean, if you really wanted to get funky, oh, these look big. <coughs> these are some Hue leggings. It's in this, and it's in a new fabric. I'm not crazy about it, but I got a great price on them at Belk. Um, I get all my hues pretty much from Belk. I think I've gotten one pair of um, Python ones from Bloomingdale's. But um, you could, I mean, you could do like these crazy pants and you could do some funky, if I can find them. Uh, you could do some, I don't like those. I got these shoes from Terry and let me pull them out. Oh, they're great. They're Kate Spades and they're, uh, uh. Yes, I know. I'm OCD about getting this stuff back in here right. Um, they're Kate Spades, and I had to have them repaired because they were... Here they are. These great sandals. You could do like this with white or cream-colored leggings. Um, uh, I... Personally, I wouldn't do the turquoise with this. I would probably just do a, a cream-colored legging. That way you can really bump up your accessorizing. So you could do these shoes with this when it gets a little warmer. Um, these are Kate Spade. I've had them for a while. I got them at Terry's. Um, Felicia Orange. Um, they were pricey because they're Kate Spade. You know how Kate Spade is. 
I'll tell you what I have that I really love that I would do in this. And I may even think about putting some white jeans with this when it gets a little warmer. And y'all seen these earrings. Love, 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 love these. They don't look like they match here because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking. But same color, fam color palette. They look great. And then pair this great looking bracelet with it to really summer it up. Like I said, right now it's chilly. I'm kind of staying with the mode of um, being it being cool outside. Um, if you did the turquoise pants and you wanted to just go crazy, you could do just like a little thong. Uh, if you've got like a Thora, Tory Burch Thora thong. I know I'm turned around, y'all. Y'all are seeing my assets. And, you know, you could do, you could, I don't know, I think this is a little busy for this button. You have to be careful. But color-wise, you could do this with the white pants um, and this turquoise. All right, orange is the new black. I'm just going to be honest. I love it. And here's some things I've purchased recently that you might be interested in. Now, I just washed this top, and I hung it up, because y'all know I talk about not drying everything. This is a crown and ivy. Now, this is truly orange. Go big orange. And it has, I love this, I love this, um, in kind of this crocheted. This is an ivory creamy color, okay? So... I would do this. I've actually worn this already once. I think I wore it with these jeans. But I would do this when it gets warmer. Remember your remember your camisole. I have a camisole under this. I really couldn't find one I liked. Um, I had kind of a nude color and it showed through. But I would do a cream or a white with this, under this. Your ivory jeans. Uh, and I've got those ones that I love, 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 love. And I talk about them all the time. The Soho, you can't find them anymore because they're Jones, and New, Jones, New York. And these Soho, they're a real straight leg skinny. And then these shoes are adorable. They are not comfortable. But, you know, Mr. Ramsey says, "'Tis better to look good than feel good. So on this, I would definitely air on that, but these are adorable, and they look great with that orange top. Um, it's not just exactly perfect, but you're talking about this here, and the shoes down there, and the pants between the two, so nobody would ever know. Um, earrings, I would probably, I love these earrings, they're very summery, summer inspired earrings, I, I think I found them at TJ Maxx. Um, Roberta Chirella is where I ordered the ones that I just showed you with the turquoise that have the diamond and the big bob thing, bobble hanging off. I found a new site today, though. Oh, my gosh. I'll, I'll have to find it and share it with you later. But these, I would do these earrings with it. They're more orangey, okay? And then, of course, I had the top that I wore the other day. See, I pull all this stuff out, and then I have to put it all back up, but that's okay. I am here for you. Okay, so I had this top on the other day with my Michael Kors zippered jeans. I was really having a problem with this. I pulled it out. I'm going to see what it looks like without it. That, you know, rope lacing stuff, it's big this year. Big, 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 big. But, uh, I don't know. It was, I was, it was like slip sliding away and I was going crazy. But, this is a, this was a good little top. It's just a knit. It's a different knit than this knit. This knit is more of a texture. This knit is real soft. We used to call it like a Kiana knit. I think I got married. My first wedding dress was made out of a Kiana knit. Go figure. I told somebody that, and they were like, what is a Kiana knit? Okay, um, let's see. I was trying to think if there's anything else 
Now I'm going to wait and share this with y'all later. Some great Crown and Ivy stuff in right now. And Chouse at Belk. That chartreuse, chartreuse green is great. Now I don't usually get it too close to my face because it just makes me look the color that greeny yellow is not great but as a separate pant and then maybe do a turquoise on the top is great um i actually found the chouse pants and then i went over and found the crown and ivy um white royal blue royal blue electric royal blue i'll share this with y'all later but I just found these really cute Michael Kors, royal blue and black. And have I got the... Oh, I've already shown y'all a picture of them. Those royal blue Vince snake skin like sneakers are so cute. But anyway, and then I'll share these. These, I know they look huge, but they're really not. These are, I think, a 12. Um, white, I still love white. And kind of a bone, or not bone, but um, khaki color together. So, this is kind of breaking into the transition. It's my first video in the new season. I think this is video 22, maybe 23. My last share with you is something I pictured on, on Facebook with my cute yellow fringed leather bag. Were these. Cole Hahn, you can get them right now at Burlington. $19.99. They're all leather. All leather. Black soles, which I love. These are nine and a half. I you know, I'm kind of kind of in a nine and a half now, with the exception of a few shoes. I'm I think these are nine and a half. Alright, so I'm gonna put the camera down real fast so you can see these great Stuart Weitzman's really fast okay all right see the zippers aren't they cute they have a little bit of height in the back don't please use your shoe horns ladies um these pants they're they're a little i need to pull them up a little bit um so i had procedure done on my leg and i'll share that with you later hopefully i'll be able to take this hose off um a week from today and um dr griffin coates was great he was he was wonderful his wife andy and um i was really nervous about it because unknown stuff makes me nervous so i took a pill and i went in my friend suzanne f was so sweet to take me she brought excuse me brought me lunch brought me dinner she brought me some soup and then my sweet Jessica picked me up, and um, I, I, like I said, I'll be glad to get this big hose off. It comes all the way up here, and then I have to wear shapewear with that. So, I am double insulated. Is it hot in here or what? All right, guys, ladies, my full-figured friends, happy shopping. Don't forget, you can send me a message anytime if you've got questions. I never, ever profess to know it all the only thing i'm doing in this video is sharing with you what i find what i like colors i like doesn't mean it's right for you some of you have sent me messages saying gosh i'm so glad you shared this with me i hadn't thought about putting those things together ran into my sweet mimi at tj maxx the other day and we talked about how to best fit her body. She's real short. She loves the longer tops, but they uh, I think she needs to stay around in here. Now, she could possibly go a little longer, but then she, you know, she, her she just it's just probably not the best it's better for her to find. If you can find petite plus sizes shorter ladies, that's what you need to do, and they're hard to find, I know. Okay. This is Weta. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Bye.